Price patterns occur in the market a lot. And when you see price patterns, it's like a quick way of making money. It's very hard to find, not hard, okay, hard, yeah, but it's very rare to find. But once you find it, it's like a quick way of making money. So price patterns are very, very necessary, very, very essential, very, very nice. And as you can see, this is a price pattern, a double bottom. And you remember what I always talk about, what I always say about what double bottom you take at the retail to the um to to the um to the range so now this is the range of the market if i assume i didn't want to take this trade using the trend line analysis you can see here now let's go to a lower time frame so that we'll see the market clearer now look at this if you watch the video where i talked about price patterns i keep saying price patterns occur a lot in the market but sometimes it can be in a confusing way you can see a price pattern that is very confusing or a price pattern that just forms in five minutes in H4, it's not formed there. But a price pattern, normal price pattern, should form all through the trend from the M1, the M5, the M15 down to the H4. So if you see a price pattern that formed within just M5 and M15, but has not formed in the H4 and the D1, that that price pattern is is just like having a fake breakout. There's a breakout, but it's fake. So that's a fake price pattern. Because it didn't form through the whole life or through the whole stuff of the um, M1 down to the M5, M4. So for you not to fall prey to such things like that, it's very necessary that you that every price pattern you see or you have, you take the trade at the retest of the price pattern. Every price pattern at the retest of the price pattern. Now remember, already in this trade. I have an entry that is telling me to sell, and yeah, I can sell. But now there's a price pattern telling me to buy. Um, no, sorry, a, a, a double top price pattern is here. Now, normally, if I didn't have this trend line analysis here that is telling me to sell, I wouldn't have sold this market already. The thing you'd have to check is the retest to the range of the price pattern. That's the best place to take your market. You don't take a market. Now, imagine that this market just went like this and just went like this. And then I, I took this market here without actually having this. It's wrong because this market can as well decide to buy all the way from here. Buy all the way from here. And if it, if it begins to buy, it won't be a price pattern again because the double top hasn't formed. But how do you know that double top has formed? The retest to this, to the range of the price pattern. Now, what do these two things have in common? This is like a V. It's like a V. The double top is like a V. This is how the double top is like. The double bottom is like an inverse V. So now, the retest to that V is the confirmation of your double bottom, of your double top or, the, or your double bottom. That is where you should take the trade, not at the top. If not, you will lose a lot of money because a lot of markets can look like double top, top can look like double bottom. But what differentiates them is the retest to the V at the marketplace. So what I'm talking about is this. Here, you can see this now. This is the V of the market. This market is like this, like this. So here is the V of the market. So this being the V, when this market broke here, every test here, this is where you should take the trade, not here. That's if you're following the double top, double bottom analysis. I have videos on that. I'm still going to make more videos about double top, double bottom. Let's just continue, continue with what we're doing. Now, already we have two points to have taken this market with. But as you can see, I didn't obey that double top, but double, double bottom stuff because I was obeying what was happening in the lower time frame according to my trend line analysis. Now, this is something that is very, very nice with Forex trading. Some people ask me, how come you trade with small balance accounts and you make a lot of money and things like that? There are trades that you can see four or five confirmations in. When you see a lot of confirmations in the market, you know it's a sniper entry. You just take it knowing that you make money from it. It has to be at least 99%, 97%, 95%. That's when I take. I don't, I don't use small money accounts with big lot sizes all the time. I use it only on trades that has high viability, that, the, um, that has more than three, four confirmations. That's when I'm taking the trade. But when I have a trade that has just two confirmations here, you can decide to do the risk management stuff and the rest. So yeah, that's very, very, that's